guys. How are you doing today? So my grandmother was telling us stories about her childhood the other day when she said that when she was young, she used to wake up early in the morning every day to the sounds of birds chirping. Now, that's not the sound I hear every morning. Where have the birds gone now? We have cut down trees to construct roads and buildings. And that has taken away the birds' homes. Similarly, deforestation destroys the natural habitats of many species of plants and animals, that is, flora and fauna. For example, the habitat of Asiatic lions in Gujarat now faces threats due to activities conducted by humans. Humans have been hunting animals for skin, scales, meat and even for fun. Cruel, isn't it? Either way, among those affected by such activities include our national animal, the Royal Bengal Tiger. There were as many as 40,000 tigers in India in the 20th century. However, by 1970, the Royal Bengal Tiger became an endangered species with less than 2,000 of its kind left. In response, our government launched Project Tiger to ensure their protection and to increase their number. Did you know a fully grown tiger needs an average of 40 to 50 square kilometers of land to hunt for its survival? That is why their natural habitat was brought under protection. Protected areas are clearly defined as geographical spaces that have managed to achieve long-term conservation of nature. Protected areas can be sanctuaries, national parks or biosphere reserves. A sanctuary is an area where animals are protected from any disturbance to them and their habitat. For example, the Bandhavgarh Sanctuary in Madhya Pradesh, India is known as the highest density of tigers in the area. National parks are areas reserved for wildlife to freely use their habitats and their natural resources. In India, we have approximately 104 national parks of which the Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand is the oldest one. A biosphere reserve is a large area dedicated to the conservation of wildlife, plant and animal resources and the tribal living in the area. It may contain other sanctuaries and national parks. The Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve, the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve, the Sundarban Biosphere Reserve are the most popular biosphere reserves in India. As recorded in 2018, India is now home to around 3,000 tigers. Taking a cue from the tiger success story, we now have schemes like Project Elephant, Project Snow Leopard and Project Sea Turtle to protect the endangered species. Did you know that each one of us can do our bit to help protect wildlife? You could make a poster, write an essay or simply raise your voice against animal cruelty. My grandmother and I have decided to bake Christmas cakes and sell them to raise funds for an animal shelter nearby. What's your good deed going to be? If these projects don't succeed, we won't have any stories to tell our grandchildren. Bye guys.